Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to predict the data for the missing dates. In the last session, we have seen we are predicting the data when there is a null values, right? When is null value, we are predicting the data. But in this session, we will see how to predict the data for the missing dates. Let's say, if you can see here, there are some missing dates here from 9 to 12. And if you can see here from 15 to 18. Also, there are any missing dates in the date range of January 1st, 2011 to January 31st, 2011. When there is a missing date, I have to create that particular new date and predict the data for subscribed and non-subscribed caps. Right. So first, we are going to be uh, launch your Anaconda Navigator and launch your Jupyter Lab. So as usual, I'm trying to importing my data into bike sharing data frame. Okay, so this is my data frame bike sharing. Now, and if you can observe here, we do have some null values also, right? We do have some null values, and if we we do have some missing dates here. So now we are going to be create first date range. Okay, we have to create a date range from January first to January thirty first in two thousand eleven year. My DTE day is a, a, an existing index. Now I have to change this index from one to thirty first by overriding the values. Okay, so first we are going to be get our date range. So let's see here, pandas has new function date range. So what it does exactly. So if you can execute the date range from this is my starting date and this is my ending date, it will create a range from January 1st to January 31st. And if you can see all the dates are available here, right? And I'm going to be pass those values into my date range data frame. Now, this date range is going to be append into my existing index of bike sharing. I have to replace, I have to re-index my DTE day with the new values of date range, right? So to do that, I'm going to be utilize same. Here, I'm going to be utilize re-indexing. So where I'm going to be re-indexing, you're going to be re-indexing into bike sharing data frame with date underscore range data frame. And when it is trying to creating a new index, when there are missing values. So we are going to miss the values for non-subscribe and subscribe columns, right? Those values are going to be replaced with null values. That's why we are going to be fill underscore value equal to np dot na. And these all are going to be replaced in the bike sharing data frame. So let's try to execute this. And if you can have a look at your data frame, if you can observe here, here it is trying to create 9th day, 10th day, 11, 12, then 15, 16. Also, it is, it is filling with the values with NAN is simply null values. Now we are going to be predicting these values with by using interpolation. So go back and get your uh, interpolation. And if you can execute this one, see here. Now my missing dates has some values now, right? So in this way, you can give a range by selecting by using date underscore range, range function and you can pass those values and replace with the re-index function into existing data frame. So you can pass or you can give a date range a start equal to this particular time and equal to this particular time. Even if you are not mentioned the start equal to and end equal to, that will take care of it automatically. If you want to mention it explicitly, you can do that, or else otherwise it will take it automatically. So the default frequency, the frequency is simply nothing, nothing bad. So 
what is the frequency? Is the month frequency how to display day frequency, hourly frequency, or only business days frequency? So the default frequency is D. So if you can execute this one, it will give a frequency equal to D defaultly. But if you want to specify frequency equal to M, that will display only one frequency. It is nothing but it's a monthly frequency. If you want to print only business days or weekdays, if you can give frequency equal to B, that will produce only weekdays only. See here, one, two, all holidays, then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or Saturday, Sunday. That's why it printed 10 again. So whatever the range you want to display, you can go ahead and display that particular range from start date to end date, any number of dates. Let's say, for example, you want to print uh, periods equal to 10. Periods equal to 10. And if you want to, from starting to January 1st, you want to display only 10 periods. See here, that will display only 10 periods only. Nothing but 10 dates. And if you want to mention frequency equal to M, that will print 10 months only in the month wise. Second month, third month, fourth month. If you want to print only business days, that will print business days only for the 10 periods. If you want to mention, if you need only 15, then you need to mention only 15 periods. Okay, so this is how you are going to be generate your date range from particular start date to end date by or by using periods are using frequencies. Thank you guys.